Hi, it's Miss McDonald, and we're going to talk all about our student notebook today. You should have picked this up when you came to the school with your car and gone through the drive through line. So we're going to talk about some important pages. On page one, you can review all your letter sounds or all your consonant letter sounds. On page 16, you can review the syllable types. On page 67, there's tons of resources about trick words, and you can flip through this whole notebook to find lots of cool things that might remind you of things you did in first grade for foundations. There's also a very important page that we're gonna talk about today, and it's the very last page in your student notebook because it's so important, you should be able to find it quickly. This talks about all the different types of letters and letter formation that you might use. So we're gonna talk a little bit more about that. You might remember from first grade that in foundations, there's different lines that can help you make your letters. There's the sky line, there's the plain line, there's the grass line, and there's even the worm line. Today, we're gonna talk about the skyline letters that start at the skyline and the plain line letters that start at the plain line. We're gonna start with the letter T. T is a skyline letter. It starts on the skyline. So I'm gonna get my, um, get my marker ready. Skyline, go down to the grass line and then cross. Now we're gonna do the letter B. B is a skyline letter as well. I'm gonna to point to the skyline, skyline, go down to the grass line, trace up to the plain line, and around to the grass line. F, F is a skyline letter. It starts on the skyline. Point to the skyline, trace back to the skyline, and then all the way down to the grass line. Cross it on the plain line. L is a skyline letter as well. It starts on the skyline. I point to the skyline, go down to the grass line, and stop. H is a skyline letter. It starts on the skyline. I point to the skyline, go down to the grass line, trace back up to the plain line, and make a hump. K is our last skyline that we're gonna talk about today. For K, we wanna start at the skyline. We're gonna point at the skyline. We're gonna go all the way down to the grass line. Then I'm gonna to point to the plain line and leave a space. I'm gonna slide over and touch your tall line, slide back to the grass line. Next, we're gonna talk about the plain line letters. N is a plain line letter. It starts on the plain line. I'm gonna to point to the plain line, go down to the grass line, trace back up to the plain line, and make a hump. Our next plain line letter, plain line letter is M. M is a plain line letter. It starts on the plain line. I point to the plain line, go down to the grass line, trace back up to the plain line, and make a hump. And then back up to the plain line and make another hump. I is a plain line letter. For I, you start at the plain line, go down to the grass line, and add a dot. Next is U. U is a plain line letter. It starts on the plain line. You point to the plain line, go down to the grass line, curve up. Ooh, I went a little bit too far. Go down to the grass line, curve up to the plain line, and trace straight down to the grass line. I'm gonna do that a little bit better. There we go. Our next one is R. R is a plain line letter. It starts on the plain line. You're gonna start by pointing to the plain line, go down to the grass line, trace back up to the plain line, and make a little curve. P is a plain line letter. For P, I'm gonna start at the plain line. I'm gonna go down, so point to the plain line, go down to the worm line, all the way down, 
trace back up to the plane line and curve all the way down to the graph line. Our last letter that we're going to talk about today is J. And this is one of the letters that you're going to be practicing a lot. So J is a plane line letter. It starts on the plane line. Point to the plane line, go all the way down to the worm line, and make a curve. Add a dot. Awesome work.